Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to the channel. We are back here at the main farm. Now, in the last video, all sorts of things were happening to the grader here. Um, as you can see, the diff is all out. Um, we've got all the bits and pieces, and it's just in the stages of going back together. Hopefully, eh, Brad? That's the plan. Just got to set our uh, preloads and backlash and yeah. Make sure we get that right because it there's evidence to indicate it was not done properly last time it was put together. Possibly. Don't don't accuse anyone of anything, but no, no, no. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Anyway, it's good at least that we've um, yeah got we can get the bits we needed, and it wasn't too difficult to pull it apart. If you didn't see the previous video um, or the previous vlog, the yeah basically we had to lift the whole back of the machine up. Um, we didn't know if it'd work or not, but it ended up working, and roll out the tandems um, after we'd unbolted them, obviously, um, and that worked pretty good. But we've got here, this is the crown wheel and the spider gears in there, all new ones. A bit hard to see in there. But these are the old ones here. Um, you might be able to just see there's a bit of marking on them, a bit of wear. The sun gears are probably worse. So new ones of them as well. Um, yeah, all ready to start putting it back together. So the other thing is that the canola is actually in fairly good flower at the minute. So I'll uh, send the drone up, get a bit of footage of that. Um, it's looking quite nice. It's not so good if you struggle with hay fever, but it is, uh, yeah, it's coming along well. Um, and a bit of other news, we've got this header here, we're trying to get it all back together. It's been apart for quite a while, waiting on bits and pieces for the gearbox. So the gearbox is back in now. Yeah, we've converted it to a, a diff lock system, so we're able to get some bits and pieces, which is like what header number two has, um, which just made the world a difference in, uh, in the wet year we had last year. And also this one, because it didn't have the diff lock, um, when you're going through the mud, one side's spinning really quick, um, and yeah, it, it just messed up that the gearbox and um, I think uh, yeah just burn out the spider gears and things like that so it wasn't good at all so having a diff lock um, will save that hopefully from ever happening again the other thing is we're hoping to get the um, feeder house back in today um, that has all been had a bit of work done to it new chain and new cogs I think um, so that's had a birthday and yeah i've also just gone through giving it service with the oils and everything so that'll be good to get this one out of the shed and then the other head has got to come in and we've got a fair bit of work to do that with rotors and things like that so not um not really looking forward to that but that's got to be done
Okay guys, just uh, just trying to work it out how to use this sucker here. I just thought I'd um, show you, Matt, Matt can work occasionally. If you have a look over there, he's doing a very important job. He's pushing the button on the pump. So he's working real hard, see? Just to show he can do some stuff. Righto, well we got oil in the bits that need oil. Um, feeder house is all on and hooked up. Um, not going to run the actual, I just think we're only going to run the engine, not the machine. We just want to warm up the engine oil um, so we can drain that and replace the engine oil filter and um, yeah, obviously put new oil in it. Then we've just got sieves, we're waiting on bottom sieves and then basically which they're pretty easy to put in so we can pull this one out um, and then bring the other header in and yeah start pulling it apart <laughs> anything another beautiful morning um, I was actually in town doing a few jobs and picking things up um, but while I was away there's a fair bit going on um, we've got the header here um, it's been pulled out and we've just had a bit of a noise in the auger on the in the outload auger so we've got that all pulled apart um, replacing the bearing I'm um, just seeing what we might yeah what might find I don't think there's anything bent um, we're just yeah trying to work that out I think we I'm just hoping that a part for this grader comes today and then we can, um, Brad, yeah, we'll get back into that, putting that all together. Um, we just had to wait for some shims and different bits and pieces to um, be able to get this set up um, spot on. So we uh, don't want to take any chances with that. Um, so yeah, that's about where we're at to, I think. Well, just about to put the rest of the diff back together. We got the bits we needed, so that will be good. found what the issue is with the header auger, oh, the outload auger. Um, so we ended up pulling that extra extension tube off because um, we wanted to check out that little right angle gearbox that goes up in the top. And what we found was not good. So I pulled it all apart here. You can see in there there's a tooth that is missing and there's lots of metal down in there. Um, but you can also see there is, yeah, all this just beat up bits of metal and yeah, it's just made a bit of a mess of that really. So got a new one of them coming tomorrow um, and then we can put that in. But currently at the minute, we've got the other tandem side going on here. Um, so yeah, all of this is going back together and that means it won't be too long and the grader might actually be going.
Well, it looks like we're just about ready to put the tendons back under the grader and get it all back together. So hopefully it all lines up. Um, we know that the excavator can lift it and all that because we obviously pull it off, but um, I don't know if the tr tricky bit's going to be um, just getting the angle quite right because there's uh, how many bolts? Four, five, six, seven. So there's 14 bolts that need to line up. So um, yeah, hopefully we can work that out. Got her in, and thankfully, uh, most of the bolts lined up pretty well, spot on straight away. Or oh, with a little bit of tinkering needed, but um, they've all pretty well gone in. So, uh, very, very thankful for that. So, really, just the the nerve wracking bit is the bit before you just get the tandems underneath. Because once the tandems are underneath, if something does happen, it'll just fall down onto them, and no one will get hurt. But um, yeah, we did have still had the stands under the blade to take the weight of that. Um, we had stands, safety stands underneath the actual um, grader itself um, as well. So we're just trying to make sure nothing untoward happens. But anyway, it's looking like a grader now, so that's good. Well, we bought a new breaker bar. Um, actually, we bought it or ordered it when we were trying to get these bolts off for the diff. Um, but yeah, obviously it's came in in time to do the bolts up with it, but it's an inch drive breaker bar and it's probably about a metre long, so it's decent, decent size. It's interesting what they write on a brand new breaker bar. So I'm not quite sure what that means. Maybe they knew it was coming here, so they quickly stamped that on because um, they knew we'd be swinging off it with six foot poles, but interesting nonetheless. Well guys, I think the grade is just about done. It's all been put together hopefully. Robbo's about to hop back in and get back into it. Yeah, we give her a little bit of a test run, Matty. Make sure there's no abnormal sounds. No fountains coming out yeah, anywhere? no, no leaks. No fountains anywhere. Yeah, no, she'll go good. Even reversing in and out, then with the diff lock, in and out. Yeah. Just testing a couple of things. It feels really nice and tight. Yeah, good. Compared to how it was before. So no more, no more Panadol for you? No, 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 no more earmuffs. <laughs> Just been able to get the parts pretty quickly has made all the difference. Well, it's driving, that's the main thing.
took about um, I think a week and a half total um, before like since we started pulling it apart to when it's gone and uh, which is really good like we, we're only waiting a couple of days on parts so um, yeah it's absolutely great result for us um, it all we've given it a bit of a run um, Robbo's actually on it right now he's working it and it seems to be all be going smoothly no issues um, we'll keep a bit of a close eye on it um, we'll do a few more jobs around the, the farm here so at least that means um, we're close by if something happens or we can just keep keep that eye on it um, but good news all around so that'll probably be it for the video we'll catch you in the next one Thank you.